Hello everyone, this is Bishop Robert Williams from God's Miracle Ministry dot com and, and I want to share this dream that I had last night. God started giving me powerful dreams last night. I got two of them. But I'm going to share you with you the first one. When I woke up from this dream, I recorded my dream on my cell phone. So I'm going to play that for you. But I want to title this dream, A Revival Breaks Out at a Nursing Home and at a Funeral Service. You'll hear that many people were healed and a great revival broke out. So I want you to listen to this dream, and if you have any comments, or God tells you anything about this dream, leave your comment below. Hit the like button, and share this video out for others to listen to, because this is a very powerful dream. So I want to play this for you, and I hope this will bless you. This is Bishop Robert Williams. Today is November the 24th, 2020. Time now is 3.15 in the morning. I woke up about, oh, 3.05 in the morning. I had a wonderful, wonderful dream of God. I want to share this with you. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I saw myself, I was at a, a nursing home, uh, it was also a rehab center, I was there for my right foot, uh, I was going to stay off my feet, and uh, I got up out of my bed and I was dressed in all white and I had my shofar. I went down to the nurse's station where I met up with my dad. I, I did see my mother briefly. My mother is deceased, but my dad is 95 years old now. And I went down there and I sat next to him. We started talking. And then some of the nurses began to talk and they were talking about there was at, at the cemetery underneath the nurse's station there was a GMC pickup buried under there and it was going to be for sale whoever wanted to buy it from the previous owner which was deceased and he was buried next to this GMC pickup well my dad wanted to see it so they rolled back the carpet and um uh, there were some panels there, and uh, you could see half of this GMC pickup. A lot of people were looking at it, you know, they, they thought it was weird. It was buried under this, uh, it, it was half in dirt, and a half was out of the dirt. And, and my dad and everybody was looking at it, it was a beautiful truck. And then, he said that he would think about it later. So they covered it all back up and and uh, put the nurse's station back on top of it. And you would never know it was even down there. And uh, some people started coming up to me and they wanted me to blow my shofar. But it was... We were also at a funeral service. You know, it, it was, it, we were at a funeral service as well, and they wanted to hear the shofar. So I said, okay, I'll blow it. So I began to blow my shofar. It was a, it didn't sound so great when I first started out. And then I continued to blow it, and it got better and better. And people 
started coming up to me. They were wanting prayer. And, and I started praying for them. And miracles started breaking out. Everybody at this funeral possession, they were also dressed, most of the people were dressed in white as well. And miracles began to break out. Everybody, I mean old and young, and uh, all the ages in between. And when I'm praying for people in Jesus' name to being ill, I, I knew, I said, oh my God, this is a, the big healing revival breaking out right here now at this funeral service. And there were a lot of people there. And, and every once in a while I would blow my shofar and I would hear other shofars in the background begin to blow. And I continued to pray for everybody. I would walk up down this line praying for people who were ready to receive this great healing power from God. The, the Spirit of God was so strong. I've never felt anything as strong as this. People were being healed. And then I ran across uh, uh, a couple of guys. One had a shofar. I thought it was his shofar, but apparently it was this other guy's shofar. I was prophesying to him, and I told him to pick up his shofar and blow it. We would blow it together. I was going to give him a special anointing, but this other guy picked up the shofar and began to walk with it. And I said, blow your shofar. And I'm still praying for people. As I'm walking, I'm trying to follow this guy with his shofar. I wanted him to blow it because it was going to be so powerful. And then I, I continue to pray for people very rapidly. And old women were being healed. I was prophesying to people. This, this big time revival was breaking out at a funeral service. It was very powerful. And then I think the guy stopped and then he, I think he began to blow the shofar. And, and I was going to pick up my shofar and, and blow it as well. And, and then I remember I stopped and I said, I held my shofar high. And, and uh, I said, my show, I've had several of God's generals hold the shofar. But one was Bishop Otis Clark, the last pastor of Azusa Street, held it for 15 or 20 minutes. And that really got people's attention when I said that. <sighs> and, and more people wanted to touch the shofar. They had people there with, from all races. And it was phenomenal. But most was dressed in white at this, at this funeral. And then after I said that, I wanted to pray for more people, and then I woke up. I woke up. And uh, I knew I had to get this dream out. I had to record this dream. It was so powerful. I believe this uh, healing revival is going to break out with me. Uh... It's not that I was the center of attention, because I was not. I didn't go there for that. I just went there to visit my dad. And, and I was in this nursing home, stay off my feet, this rehab center, stay off my foot, because it has a diabetic foot ulcer on it, even right now it does. So there could be a time frame that this healing revival is about ready to break loose yep. and it is extremely powerful and i thank god for giving me this dream so i can share this with everyone who's listening on the internet because i will play this on the internet praise god praise god i will say more when this uh 
dream is over when I talk about live on, on, on YouTube and Facebook. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Well, thank you, Lord. I want to thank each and every one of you for listening to that dream. If this speaks to you and you and God gives you a something about it, please leave a comment below. But um, this was a very powerful dream for me last night. I thank God for that. And uh, like I said, uh, there is another dream that God gave me after that, after I woke up and, and prayed about this one. I went back to sleep and God gave me another dream. I'm going to do that on a separate video. But I wanted to share this with you. Get ready for a great big healing revival. This is part of the end time revival. Things that God has shown me all my life that I would be a part of. And uh, I thank God for what he's doing right now. Because we need a healing revival. This nation needs to be healed. I just did another video live on Shekinah Glory Warriors Facebook page. It's also on my Facebook page as well. I will be putting a video up here on, on my YouTube channel for all of you to listen to. It's a very powerful teaching that God has given me. But I wanted to share this dream with you. So go to the next video where I'm going to share this other dream. And uh, I thank God for that. And uh, I pray that God will open up your eyes and open up your hearts for this great move of God that's coming. Humble yourself before God. Humble yourself. Because God is a great God. Get ready. Clean up your lives right now. Walk away from sin. Get ready for this healing revival. Well, I'm going to close now and get on to the next video, the next dream. Again, this is Bishop Robert Williams from God's Miracle Ministry.com, God's Miracle Ministry Revival.com. And if you have a prayer request, send it out to Robert at God's Miracle Ministry.com, and I will pray for you on next week's program that I do for live. Take care. God bless. See you in the next video.